All right, now what? Should be able to get up there. Wait, it's up here. Okay. It was a very good fight and what an awesome monster. Um, a monster. <laughs> what an awesome machine, though. Okay, here we go. Is there any more machines we're going to fight? Okay, now what? Okay, here we go. Aloy in a super cool <laughs> jump. All right, here we go. Oh, let's have a look at this. <laughs> That's so gorgeous. Anyway. My goodness, where the hell is this place? What's this? Wait, is that a dead storm bird? This must be the shrine Nell Tuke was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Hell yes. I can see why it's worth a lot. It's mine. My precious. One glue, uh, blue gleam. One. So you're telling me I need 30 to get both uh, the two bows I'm interested in. Guys, this is... <laughs> I don't know. Is this even, a, is this even attainable? Oh, anyway. All right, check it out. Should have brought a cart. Yeah, next time I come across that frost thing, or even a scorcher, I'm going to take a resist potion and a health boost as well. I took said a ray went past the shrine into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. Where are we, guys? Okay, I'm not going to jump down. Just want to see—is there anything here? Not really. All right, cool. Oh, my guys, I can't feel my. I can't feel much of anything in this. Oh, sorry. I just realised this is actually a satellite installation of some sort. I wonder what this place used to be. All right, we need to go there just quickly, guys. Just very quickly. What's, what's up there? Oh, is that where I have to go? <laughs> Duh, sorry. Maybe Aurea is inside. Aurea's retreat. Oh, guys, the date point things come up, the symbol. So let's look for that. Here we go. Check it out. Fire break upgrades. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair. Oh boy. I should just go to bed. <laughs> okay, this dude seems to have a crush on Anita. Whoever they are. Okay. All right, guys, let's go in. And I'm constantly looking out for data points, guys. I don't want to miss a thing. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? Yeah, I'm asking that same question as well, Aloy. I have no idea what this is. Okay, is any thing? Okay, I can't see the icon for data points so far, so. 
All right, we need to go there, but just give me a moment. Okay. I hope we don't get attacked. <laughs> All right, it's telling me to go there. We won't do that just yet. Let's have a look around. All right, check it out, data point. Right, supply snaffy. This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You sh weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. The hell's this problem? Shall I read? Is there anything extra if I click on these guys? Oh, you're kidding. There is. I'm so sorry. Okay. All right, let's go here. First of all, okay, Kenny Chow. Uh, no, 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 that's fine. This is okay. We've already... He's more or less explained what he said in the recording, but this one, message text. Let me begin by spelling out disaster for you. A destructive event causing a level of disturbance unmanageable via the application of ordinary re resources. What you have given us is distinctly ordinary. Dummy's version, give me what I need or you'll be on an an auto car to lay off city <laughs> quicker than you can say code red this guy sounds like a dickhead right the list one more time 3000 mres no lasagna <laughs> 30 military grade flashlights no more junk store crap 10 portable water pumps not five not eight 10 50 tubes of fungicide we're working underground. Spores happen. <laughs> 15 hydraulic jacks. 12 replacement drone propulsion units. 50 holographic micro drives in a disaster. See definition above. It's absolutely critical to track all ingresses and egresses of the facility. I take our safety seriously, even if you don't. 50 almond scented extra soft <laughs> data craft. I wonder what he was going to say there. Sounds a bit weird, this guy. Or maybe he is a nice person. I'm just misjudging him. All right, come on. Give me some more. Come on, game. Oh. Okay, right. Found, might have potentially found a secret. But just before I do anything... All right, let's go in. Okay, nothing there. Okay, we got a couple of data, data points. Have I missed anything in that? Anyway, let me sort this out. OMG Blevins. <laughs> Director of Security Blevins is writing us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Oh, he does sound like an arsehole, guys. Okay, let's read up on it. Right, Anita Sandoval. Direct of security... Ble okay, sorry. My bad. Right, personal log. If Blevins reconfigures the pattern on the Lambert or Orbicular door access one more time, I'm going to vomit all over it. Sure, I don't want some gift shop employee rooting around in the firebreak facility. But these measures aren't about security. They're about control. I wonder if Blevins gets in early to watch everybody try to solve the new pattern perched over his little camera array in his big boy office <laughs> what a bridge troll you'd think that a fraction of his fancy drone budget could go toward buying him some classier body spray <laughs> she really hates him god help me and kenny if he ever finds out about us oh is she dating that dude uh, the one that smelt her hair <laughs> all right excellent all right, so what now? Am I supposed to be here or shall I investigate the other room in more detail? Okay, I know there's a day of points here. What is this place, though? Source, no. Data source requires a closed flow circuit to establish connection. I have no idea what that means. The door. Again. <laughs> okay, who's this from? Okay, this is actually one we read. Okay, Frozen Wilds. Blah, blah. Okay, I've been 
hearing that some of our staff members are having trouble with our state-of-the-art ultra-secure and absolutely necessary Lambert orbicular orbicular was it orbicular door access so here's the <laughs> slow version again <laughs> this guy's a dick honestly the thingy in the middle is the source node turn it on yeah i know hard right the thing no wait <laughs> i'm messing up already okay i got lost there guys sorry then you've got to turn the other nodes so that the data stream containing your credentials gets back to the source some nodes are used to buffer corrupt or suspect data so avoid uh, avoid those shouldn't be too tough because you know they're red <laughs> like a stop sign i'm guessing you were taught this in preschool but with this crowd who knows anyway that's it get the data stream back to the source and the door opens it's really not that tough but if you need me to i'll hold your hand <laughs> while you give it a try actually scratch that do it yourself i'm not going to touch your hand oh wow this guy is such a douche Guys, I I'm really ashamed to admit this. I actually the kind of forgot what this. Floor must be connected to the door. What door? <laughs> I don't know, guys. Whatever. Maybe I've come here prematurely. I don't know. Oh, I see. Okay. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? I see. I get it. It's a puzzle. Oh, this is fun. I hope. Uh, okay, can I turn this? Was, was that fixed? Okay, that's fixed. Watch this, guys. This thing's turned. <laughs> yes. Okay, check it out. So this one perhaps will be here. No, no, no. The other way. Sorry. My bad. What's that? Nothing. Okay. All right. Let's see if the door's open. Yes. <laughs> okay. Excellent. We achieved something. That's great. Any more data points, though? No. All right. Let's move on. Okay. So nothing else here. So we just have to go through this way, I guess. I hope I haven't missed anything, guys, but... All right, let's start again. Okay, it wants us to go through it. I know that. However... Okay, no, don't climb. Okay, we were here. We got a data point here, right? Okay, excellent. I'm just retracing my steps. So we don't need to be here anymore. Right, here we go. That's where we came in. That's the kind of an entrance, and... Now what? Okay, again, that's the main door, but not yet, guys. Okay, we've been here. That's solved. That's all done. Right, data point's coming up, but where is it? Oh, there, there, there. I can see it, guys. 0.6. Oh, shit. How am I going to explain to Kenny that Firebreak is doomed? without a guiding intelligence advanced enough not only to think but to feel what isn't that kind of like gaia okay anita sandoval um personal log 0.6 what does it mean to quantify an intelligence anyway you can't just assign a number on a continuum to a conscious mind and then expect it to obey whatever arbitrary limit that number represents there's no way around it. Without the supervision of a mind beyond human capacities, Firebreak is going to fail. And 0.6 won't cut it, either. By pushing sentience, you inevitably generate a system that can experience emotion. Wild, sloppy, unmanageable uh, emotion. You're capable of abstract thought. You're capable of fear like vast silver don't know what that is i won't go through that again i categorically refuse hopefully i can get this all across to kenny i like him 
I like his lopsided little smile. <laughs> I especially like those circles he makes with his hand when he gets excited about an idea. <laughs> if we hadn't been flung together like this, maybe he and I... Well, no point in wall gathering. Uh, I thought they did get together. Ah, oh, whatever. All right, I wonder, could an artificial brain experience this singular combination of desire and preemptive regret? I'm getting a kind of a handle of what she's talking about. There's like ethics involved for AI, I think. You know, how, how clever they can get, if that makes sense. So that's what they're trying to do is like put a limit, I think. Oh, I could be totally wrong about this, but um, just let me know in the comments. But I think that's what she's um, talking about. Because you remember uh, Patrick... Sorry, guys, I have to pause here. Patrick Brochard Klein, you remember he was talking about um, 0 0.4 Turing something something. He was actually talking about the servitors and the healer. And that was for Eleuthia. They can't be too advanced, you know. Uh, making their own decision and stuff. They have to stick to what they're programmed to do. That's what I think this is. That's what I think Anita's talking about, but I could be wrong. A shower? Come on, it has to be something else. All right, there isn't. Okay, that's fine. Let's go outside. And is that really it? There has to be more. Come on. Wait, wait, hold up, guys. Hold up. I don't think I've been here. I don't think so. No, I haven't. Guys, I've not been here. I just know it's this place. All right, good. There's a data point. Check it out. Right, Thanksgiving. Uh, another email from my sister. I haven't got time to think, let alone reply. Oh, that photo of the girl she sent didn't do much for my conscience. Jenny looks pretty proud of her pilgrim costume. Crap. I've never missed Thanksgiving before. And chances for Christmas? Near zero. I can't even tell them that all the work I'm doing is to keep them safe. What work? Uh, anyway, I'm sure we'll find out more, guys, but... Alright, I'm a little bit lost. Okay, have I been here? Alright, shower. <laughs> Again. Okay, let's go this way, then. Okay, so we're back in this room. Now, finally, <laughs> is there anything else I've missed? Anything to climb on? No, I think so far we're covered. And if I miss anything, guys, just let me know. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I don't understand. Okay, I see. I got it. Here we go. And uh, just a quick check behind me. Is there any <laughs> secret levels? No, there isn't. Okay, let's keep going. Guys, I'm not being funny. I, I am enjoying this. I really am. This is awesome. But it's taking forever to get to this array of person. It's actually getting a little bit... Uh, just a slight bit boring. I love that fight. Fresh air head. Okay. I love the fights. They were awesome. But it's like there's so much traversal. It's actually quite unreal. I'll stop moaning. <laughs> it's probably just me. I haven't eaten yet. I'm really hungry. That's probably why. What is this? Okay, I think we're here now. Whatever this is. Okay. Oh, there's a ladder here. What's that for? All right, I'll remember that kind of. Not again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. All 
Um, guys, just a shot in the dark. Can I drop that ladder now? Yes, I can. Look, check it out. Just in case, in case I need it for later. Sorry, give me a moment. Oh, guys, would you look at that? Another ladder? Where does this take me, though? All right, we'll find out later. I'm sure we can explore um, that area. Where are we on the map, by the way? Is that what I think it is? Guys, I found the jewels here. <laughs> All right, don't worry. I'm not going to look at it now. I'm just saying. All right. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Okay. All right, that's where that storm bird was and a blue gleam. All right, now what? Okay. Oh, wait, I can see a, a handhold. One sec. Let me do a running start. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry, just scanning, seeing if, if there's any supply crates or even better, blue gleam. And there's camp. Excellent. All right, cool. Oh, there's our amazing volcano. All right, guys. Okay, let's go up, I guess. I'm not much higher to climb. Maria must be close. Oh, she better be, guys. It's it's taken hours to get to her. I'm really hungry. I think that's why I'm getting so moody. <laughs> anyway. She has to be in here somewhere. All right. Oh, a uh, thing. There's a thing here. Right, stage two complete. Okay, that's from Kenny Chow. Right, to YNPF all. No idea what that means. Date 20, uh, December 23, 2046. First stage of main facility complete. Attention all staff. It's with pride that I announce the completion of the first level of infrastructure on our primary facility. This compound will be the nerve center for our project and will require the team's continued best efforts to realize by the deadline. But even though there is much more to be done, you should be pleased with all you've accomplished so far. Please find attached a detailed plan for mustering out of the auxiliary space, which will serve as a contingency site as we proceed with the main facility. 90% of our personnel must be relocated by 5 p.m. Wednesday. If your name does not appear on the assignment list, please email Marissa with me in CC. Your dedication, talent, and intelligence remain daily sources of inspiration. Dr. Kenny Chow, Project Director. Wonder what they're a project of, though. And they haven't talked about the Pharaoh Plague or anything like that, so just wondering. Hmm. Anyway, doesn't matter. Obviously, I know the Pharaoh Plague started, um, I think, 2065. Is that right? What's in here? What's this? Nothing. Can we climb up, though? No, we can't. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> just checking. All right. So let's go this way. Again, it's telling me to go there, but we're going to do the opposite in case there's a collectible. Oh, no, we can't enter. We can, we can. I'm just blind. Yes, check it out. Menu prank <laughs> from Kenny Chow. Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. <laughs> most advanced geological project ever undertaken or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. <laughs> that sounds awesome okay let's read it okay come on people to wait no no sorry i read the, <laughs> i read the wrong thing okay uh hacking off menu boards uh bcc dodd blevins 
Okay, so you BCC them. Uh, hacking of many attention all staff and an assembly of our country's finest scientific minds recruited to address a grave threat to national safety. It would be fair to expect more mature conduct than that demonstrated yesterday in the canteen. Mr. Blevins plays a crucial role in a successful execution of Firebreak and is due the respect both of his title and of his many contributions to the project. Any further interference in the menu boards will necessitate my direct personal involvement. Dr. Kenny Chow. <laughs> Sorry, I just read. Okay, wait, let me, let me get to that. Project director. And from Kenny Chow to Anita Sandoval, um, forward hacking of me menu board. Anita, was it you? With a wink and a smile. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> but hey, guys, he's a project director, so he has to. He has to be, um, you know, professional, etc. Yep, no one likes this Blevins dude. He sounds like a right douchebag. Okay. I hope we find more. This is fun, guys. But I am hungry. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm so hungry. I just need to eat. Anyway. All right. What now? What's this? Um, okay, let's check this out. I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak. Who's she talking to? All I ask to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Okay, finally, <laughs> we've met Aurea. My God, it's taken about four hours. Okay, guys. Um, oh, crap. It's one of those puzzles. I like it. It's actually fun, but it's a massive version. And look, there's a data point as well. Right, security measures um, from Kenny Chow. Okay, Anita. As much as I hate the fact that Blevins installed lambent orbicu uh, orbicular technology on the lower security door, I must I admit that for the auxiliary data center, it makes sense, especially given our goals for the central processing unit. I'm sure you're painfully familiar with the process by now, but just in case you need to forward instructions to your team, to access the system, activate the source node in the middle, then manipulate the other nodes to direct the data stream with your credentials back to the center. Make sure to avoid the red nodes. They're used to isolate any corrupt or suspect data. I'm sure someday you'll thank Blevins for making our work so very, very secure. Kenny, I really doubt that. <laughs> okay, um, there are some more uh, data points, guys, but should we go through them now and then we can... Let's do it now, guys. Let's just get it out of the way. It's fine. I'm actually very interested in these. Incommensurable. What? Okay, play. And I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Incommensurability. I've never heard of these words, guys. And I'm British. <laughs> no, but I'm very common. I'm a common British guy. Anyway, 
personal log. I had an argument with Kenny this afternoon. When a couple's... So they are together, see? Anyway, when a couple's first fight hinges on the Turing Act. Right, there you go, guys. You know you're dealing with some real sexy nerds. <laughs> I won the argument, I guess. But I'm less concerned whether or not I can pull this off than with the ethical implications of succeeding. I promised Kenny that the suite of co uh, coping mechanisms I've designed will help manage any emotional fallout from the software, but privately, I'm less confident. I'm a programmer, not a shrink. The minutiae of ro robo-ethics do start to seem less relevant when a refusal to supply firebreak with the necessary conditions for its success comes at the cost of millions of lives. It's worth putting one consciousness at risk to save so many others, isn't it? Ugh. Trying to solve this with numbers makes me uh, feel like a sociopath. Alright. Yeah, it's definitely something to do... A uh, Turing act or something. It's something to do with... Um... Oh, wait. Is that a bear? It is! <laughs> oh, sorry. Cut off Aloy there. I'm so sorry, guys. One sec. No, that's not it. It's this. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, depicts a looming, impressive animal inscribed four of seven in a commemorative set. 2042. Montana Recreations trade at Hollow Hall for valuable rewards. Oh, I can't look into it further. Okay, fine. So, there's no bears in in this world okay fine um all right sorry Ari, i gotta wait give me a second okay i don't care about that just looking around again for okay nothing's coming up there's no data points so let's get on with this guys one thing i'm not great at puzzles when they when they're simple i can do them but when they're super complex get the light back to the source all right let's have a look guys Okay, so obviously that's a no-go. Um, this we can't turn, so that's as it is. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know where to start. What, what do I do? Um, okay, let's start here. Okay, logically... Or could it be there? Alright, let's try, guys. Nope. And one more. Oh, did I? Oh, maybe that was correct. Why I just did. Hold on a minute. Maybe this goes here. All right, all right. We'll work on this. Let's see. Oh, is that not correct? Ah, uh, okay. Let's go back here. Let's let's go here first. Okay, that one's a dot, the red one. We can't do anything there. But what if I bring it all the way around to this? <laughs> Guys, I'm going to mess this up, but you know, whatever. Okay, so if we bring it there. And maybe... No, that can't... No, that can't be right. Because there's nothing here. Oh, shit. Okay, no, no, it's this way then. All right, let's turn. No, that's not right either. <laughs> what? Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry about this. I told you, when they get more complex, I'm not really a puzzles person. I get it. I get it. Watch this. Watch this. Come on, come on. <laughs> right, here we go. Okay, I... No, no, you're kidding. Oh! Shit! I'm sorry, Aurea. I know, I suck. <laughs> I really suck. Okay, maybe... I don't know, guys. No, no, no. This way, this way. 
Okay, then this one. No, the other way, please. Yes! Okay, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Okay. No, please, please. This way. Alright, so this beam will go here. And then this will go... Right, and then... Okay, wait. Um, I don't get this. Wait, 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 wait. If I turn this... Right, okay, check it out, guys. Oh my god, I think I did it! <laughs> I think, I'm not sure. I don't want to celebrate too early. Yes, get it! <laughs> oh shit. Covered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Orea? Orea, I need you. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is Oh no, that's sad. You brought the spirit's voice back. All right, okay. Is that what I did? You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Silence again? I don't really care. I mean... Well, I know I do care. He's actually one of my favorite characters, but... Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, the secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. Alright, I respect it. She's no snitch. <laughs> Wait, it's giving me the option to ask again. About silence? I've told you all I can. <laughs> There's nothing more I can say. All right, the spirit. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Werak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me, but I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below. Oh. It must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me, safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. That's awesome. Uh, just very quickly, guys. Okay, all I know so far, there was a project being done here. It was meant to save lives. It sounded quite serious. An AI was involved, and that's probably the spirit, whatever the spirit is. It's probably whatever AI is governing this place but a daemon has tried to hack into it i don't know something along those lines but i don't know what the project's about etc but anyway 
What did the spirit want from you? She said she was hurt, incomplete. She needed bones, parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum, so I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. Oh, that's nice. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. I want to help her, of course. The daemon. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. What the hell? She named it the daemon. And said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help. To find a way to destroy her, if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. Oh no. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation. Not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here. Hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. All right, let's go to Thunder's Drum. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain. Thunder's drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, Aratak won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter. 
And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. What? And Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. <laughs> but you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? Yeah, of course. You heard the spirit. She's suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Sakuli. Is there a neck in the area? Yes, near the frost figures. But it's been frozen in ice for generations. What does that have to do with anything? It'll help. Trust me. Maybe even more than I thought. If you say so, do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Ooh. Take it. You may find it useful. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Okay, we finally... <laughs> Finally met Aurea. Uh guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I I look look, I'm just being honest. Okay, Banuk Storm Slinger, what is that? Give me a sec, guys. Give me a sec. Oh, we completed it. Six blue gleam, that's what I like to see. Uh we get a reward box, 10,000 XP, and okay, six blue gleam. Let me see what this is. Okay, real quick. No, it's in a box, isn't it? Okay. Oh crap, there's a ton, shit ton of boxes I haven't opened up yet. No, that's not it. What? uh wait a minute sorry have i missed something or is it in uh, maybe i just didn't see it uh guys sorry am i being blind here i i don't understand right that's blue gleam fine but where's the Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Guys, I think um, we're going to leave it here anyway. I'll figure this out by the next... <laughs> I don't know where it is, guys. Wait, R2, hold on. Oh, you're shitting me. Guys, you're shitting me. Okay, let's open that. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got some coils and this. Right, what is this? 20 storm bolts. Okay, now we can go into weapons. Right, this weapon fires charged bolts. Consecutive bolts build up a larger charge and deal increased damage. This sounds badass. All right, we're going to try this in the next episode, guys. But this has been quite a long one. I may have uh, I may have to split this into two episodes. Just depends. Um, I'll check how, how long the episode's been. But look, I really enjoy this. Please do not get me wrong. But I think it gave me a bit too much traversal. Like, I don't know. I was just walking around doing nothing for a while. And uh, I just wanted to maybe a little bit more. Um, hey, even more data points would have helped along the way. That would have helped me. And also a couple of more fights. But I did enjoy this and I'm really intrigued. I want to know what the spirit is, who the daemon is. It's not Hades. Or is it? No, it's not Hades. It can't be. Anyway, a lot of unanswered questions. Good we met Araya and Araya doesn't like Aratak. And now I've got to challenge Aratak to be chieftain of the Banuk. <laughs> Alright, that's a little bit scary. Guys, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you in the next video. We may not be in the Frozen Wilds for next episode. We might go back to the main game and do a bandit camp or a side quest. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.